hey you guys what's up welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm just doing a chill sit down chitty chatty video with you guys it's not gonna be anything fancy I'm just gonna chat do our makeup maybe our hair i haven't filmed in a minute i actually did have a video filmed and i was in the process of editing but the color looked bad i just did the color because i thought the color was off due to my camera but it ended up being off due to the computer um the computer color settings or whatever adjusted themselves somehow and i ruined it and i just didn't feel like going back and resetting at all so this is going to be the video in its place today we're going to be going between these two palettes right here the sweet pinks by juvia's and the berries by juvia's i've never tried juvia's place I think that's what's called. Yeah, I've never tried products by Juvia's Place. This was the one I used in the video that I was just talking about that is not gonna see the light of YouTube. So we're just gonna play with the two. I haven't used this one yet though, so we'll just, we'll go again between the two. We're in my living room. I just wanted a change of scenery. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been feeling really out of it lately. I'm tired all the time. I don't have any energy. Um, and I just haven't been motivated to film anything. If you hear clicking in the background, that's my dogs. We have hard floors now and they're walking around. Without further ado, if you want to see what I come up with and just hear all the bullshit I have to talk about, then just keep watching. Okay. Mm. So I have my mirror right here. Maybe I can zoom you in some. Mm-hmm. Whew. I look rough, you guys. I'm tired all the time. I'm rough. I I don't do my hair and makeup much at all. Um, you wanna know something? I've been getting two white hairs right in here. I'm only 25 and I've been getting two white hairs right here. The same little two, it's like one right here and then one right next to it. And I pluck them out once a month. Um, there was, at one point, I feel like there was three and last year i plucked the white hair out from over here i haven't found that hair over here so maybe it quit growing and i haven't found the third one that's mixed up in this mess another thing i've noticed is that this part of my hair seems to be getting thinner i don't know why but i noticed that it's just really thin for some reason I, yeah you can see especially compared to this side is that a i'm getting old my skin is so bad right now especially my chest and back i've got a lot going on i'm kind of stressed and uh yeah anyway the first thing i'm gonna go in with is the professional pore primer by benefit so i guess to pop things off with i resubscribed to ipsy but i think i'm gonna skip march and do my do boxy charm in march if that makes sense so every other month it'll be a different box as of right now i may change my mind and just cancel them both all together but i will say the last ipsy box i got last year i it wasn't the greatest or it's a bag the ipsy bag and then the ipsy bag that i put together this month for this month i picked out like three out of the five items i was not impressed with the options i had i think two of them are the same or in the same category i don't know but I'm just not happy about it. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. I love this stuff. It is pricey. I believe it's 40 bucks. Everything I use will be linked down in the description below if you want to check it out. My Ipsy is supposed to be coming. It should be here soon. It, I think it should have been here around the 15th or something. But Tennessee had, at least West Tennessee, had a pretty bad snow and ice storm. I'll insert a clip here. go in Come on. I didn't film any of it <laughs> I didn't even think to film any of it until yesterday 
and by then it was melting just like the clip you would have seen a minute ago it's melting it's sunny out it's above freezing so yeah but we had i believe max six inches five and a half six inches here and we never get that it's not all the time maybe every like i swear to god like six to ten years it gets that bad but recently it's it's never been that bad it was actually it was nice um because i do like snow i just like i don't know i feel like if you're gonna have winter then you should get the full winter package like the snow and the sleet and all that um obviously it's not ideal for everybody and not everybody likes it but i don't know i just feel like we get gypped every year we get a winter and some years it doesn't even snow some years it's just a little bit and then it melts right as it lands and this year we we got the full package and i'm super excited i wish we could get it more often that's just my opinion but it was super pretty i was excited i know my dogs liked it um my cat did not oh with the ipsy though so yeah ipsy was supposed to kind of be here but because of the storm a lot of things got delayed i finally was able to get my husband the ps5 that thing pisses me off i swear and then like some websites you just have no chance because of the bots and stuff um like walmart for example they need to like up their shit this is in the shade 3.0 by the way but every time i tried to get that stupid ps5 on walmart.com say it drop at like 3 p.m cst right it'd be 3 p.m on my computer and on my phone i tried to use both and as soon as it hit three like i'd never get the add to cart it would just show like it's still waiting to be released like it i'd update and i'd update and it would still never give me the option to add to cart and like by 301 after the like seventh time of refreshing my page it'd be out of stock and then it'd say release or whatever it says like going on sale at 310 p.m cst oh my god it would piss me off so bad well finally and we've been trying to get this since november of last year 2020 the year that everybody wants to forget that was going to be his christmas the digital ps5 i never got it because it would sell out immediately and then again with the walmart issue try to get it um on other websites it wouldn't sell out as fast but by the time i if I was ever able to put it in my cart and go to check out, by the time I got to my information, it would be gone. So finally, he called me one morning, literally two weeks ago, because he works away from home. And he said, hey, I'm driving, but the PS5 is on GameStop and they're releasing it every few minutes. So I got up, <laughs> I was like, all right. So I literally sat there refreshing because the way GameStop did it, it was like, I think you'd refresh the page and then where it's says where it usually says add to cart it would say something like hang on we're we're releasing stock every few minutes so you refresh it once in a while the add to cart would pop up but then it would again say like whenever you try to add it to cart it would then say hang on we're restocking every few minutes so after like 20 minutes of that shit i was about to be done and i I remember like I was playing with my cat too. I was laying on my bed. I was playing with my cat and literally it had been 20 minutes and I was just thinking like, I I'm just done. It was weird. Cause right as my cat, he like literally bit me or something or scratched me. And I just remember like it hurt. And I looked at the screen, I don't know why it happened that way. And this, whatever. So I looked at the screen, like as soon as he did that, I pulled my hand away. I'm about to just tell my husband I couldn't get it. Well, right as I did that, I refreshed the screen that last time. Add to cart came up, so I was like, okay. So I hit add to cart, and it said secure checkout. I was like, okay. So I went to checkout. I typed in all my information, and I was in a hurry too, so it wouldn't let me create an account on GameStop, so I had to check out as like a guest or whatever. So I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I'm getting anxious because I'm like, holy shit. I feel like I'm not going fast enough. Luckily, my card was auto-saved because I didn't want to have to run and get my wallet. I think after all your information, it gives you the option to like review your order, I think. I clicked it, I looked at everything, like skimmed everything to make sure it was correct. I hit place order, an order was confirmed. I was like, holy shit, I got it. I screenshotted it all, the confirmation number, everything, and I sent it to him. And he called me and he was like, are you serious? Like, there's no way. I said, yeah, you got it. So <laughs> we were talking for a minute and I literally said to you, I was like, holy shit, what if I got something wrong? Like, what if I got our address wrong or some other stupid piece of information wrong? 
like obviously i didn't get the card wrong but like what if it's being sent somewhere else right so i went and reviewed the order again just my luck something would be wrong and it was luckily it was nothing like serious Ow. luckily it was nothing serious but my email was wrong so at the end of dot com a c i put a c and i think i only put a c because whenever i tried to type in my email the first time usually it autofills i clicked c and it didn't autofill i hit delete and clicked c again it decided autofill i think it kept that c and just stuck tacked it on to the end of the dot com by the way i use a tarte shape tape contour concealer in the shade fair in the midst of all that i spent literally 48 minutes on the phone with GameStop on hold before I got in contact with somebody. At the end of the whole conversation, she said that she was able to change my email because in the order for GameStop, it says that you can edit your order, right? And I'll go in and try to edit it. I'd hit save and nothing would change. And come to find out, after you place the order, you can't change it. But then I don't know why you have, like your, like it gives you the option to edit. I don't know why it does that then. She said that she changed my email and within 24 hours, all should be well. So I was like, fine. 24 hours rolls around and nothing's changed. So I end up emailing GameStop. I just want to make sure like the email that I provide you guys isn't going to mess up the actual order. And they messaged back about mm, almost 24 hours later and said, no, it's not going to mess anything up. The order was confirmed. You just won't get any updates. So they said that they'd be able to provide me with tracking once, you know, the order ships so that was all fine and good i was like thank god but i was just still beating myself up because it's just so unnecessary it's such a stupid hassle and i stress out easy anyway but that was just an unnecessary thing and that just tells me to be more careful to pay more attention but yeah that was the pointless story of i got my husband a ps5 thank god i'm glad it's over so this is the L'Oreal Paris Hydro Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder in the shade Light 917. Next, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Bronzer Palette. There's a lot of changes happening this year, and I can't wait to share some of them with you. One in particular is just super, like, unexpected, but exciting. So, I haven't had Instagram, my Instagram app in a while. I deleted it. Um, not my actual Instagram, but I deleted the app. I deleted the Facebook app. I've been getting bummed out. I've been really comparing myself, and I always have for some stupid reason. Everyone just ups their life and makes it way more perfect than it actually is. 90% of what you see is fake. It's only a second of their, you know, 24 hour a day life. That's just not the reality of things. We obviously post our happiest and what we want people to see. I mean, I do it too, I'm guilty of it. I have been in the past. I don't really post much on social media anymore. I don't share a lot of details of my life. And uh, something scary happened to my husband and I back in 2018 on Father's Day. We got robbed and I've never talked about it on the internet. I never posted about it on Facebook. Like, yeah, y'all are hearing it before anybody else probably over anybody else on like on my personal pages it's just not something that i just feel like i need to share it was very scary and hopefully we never have to go through that again and that's just like another reason i just don't post a lot especially about what's going on in our personal life the area we live in like a, a more distinct area of where we live in what our house looks like or at least the outside of our house what we're doing um, when we're leaving like I just don't share a lot of things and or even a lot of moments in my life just because I'm I'm paranoid that it would happen again and no it wasn't proven that he did it but the way the situation happened and the way it took place there we're just like nobody else could have done it like it's just too coincidental there's just too much of a coincidence for it to be anybody else while it is possible it's just I don't think it was anybody else. Once you have your house or anything broken into, car, um, place of work, just anything, it's an invasion of privacy. It really affects you and just doesn't, it doesn't feel the same. Home doesn't feel the same for a long time. It'll be exactly three years 
um, on Father's Day this year. But this is a Ciate London Marble Light um, blush in Halo. It feels more like home now, but there's still some days to where I'm paranoid as shit. And because my husband does work away from home, which here I am sharing that on the internet, I know, right? Some days I get really paranoid and some days, especially at night, it just, I'm scared. And that's just not a way I want to live the rest of my life. That's not an ideal way to live. You shouldn't have to, like you should be able to come home and feel safe and comfortable in your own home. Obviously things happen, things can happen. It could be somebody you don't even know that could rob your house. But I just feel like it was just a lesson we learned to be more careful, to not be so careless and ignorant and to not be so unaware. And how we use our information, how we put out our information to the world is something we consider every time we turn on social media. I guess I can tell you guys a little bit about what happened. Anyway, I did plan on doing a story time about it. I'm not a very good story time teller, as you could tell earlier from my GameStop bullshit. And I was just like, I don't know if I'm ready to put that out there. Because again, not many people know about it. But I never told social media. Never, never talked about it. Other than like personal family. But I guess I can talk about it now if it helps somebody become a little bit more aware of just what they're doing and posting online because literally everything now is is online based it's social media social media like runs the world right now and we all want to in some way let the world know what we're doing to the actual fucking story we were going to the lake that day it was father's day it was a sunday and it was in june obviously and james my husband my sisters my dad and my in-laws were going to the lake they had a boat and we were gonna go tubing and just chill out and just have a good time we had my nephews we had one of my nephews at the time on the way that we were leaving um, my husband's friend at the time called him and asked what we were doing and he told him we're going to the lake um, we just left you know if you want to hang out we can do it later tonight when we get back so you know i didn't think nothing of it we've we've given him or my husband's like told him what's been going on before never we never saw it as an issue we never and again like you you never know i mean you can't live your life constantly like oh i'm not gonna tell this person something because they might do this or they might do that like you can't live your life like that sometimes you know shit just happens and you just got to be more careful you know what i mean like just pick and choose your friends pick and choose you know who you want to know specific details and you know and again like things happen like you you're not going to be able to pre prevent it 100 percent we told him we weren't going to be home we told him we just left nobody was home he's like all right and we left we had a good time we come back right i believe we left at like 12 30 and we got back at we got back at like eight we we're on our way home and my husband called his friend and let him know like hey we're on our way home if you want to come over like you're more than welcome to so his friend was literally like yeah if i do it'll it'll be later later on tonight you know i'm kind of doing some right now whatever the hell he said so we're like all right at this point we also don't have my nephew just me and james we pull in nothing looks out of the ordinary outside so we go in we turn on the lights we're in the living room so where our house is you'll walk in which is you'll be in the living room as soon as you walk in um, like right behind the couch, if you're facing that way, there'll be three doorways. One to the left is the bedroom. One semi in front of you is what's now the dog's room. And then there's another one closer back that way, but still facing that way. That's the utility room, right? So through the utility room is a door which at the time would lead you straight to the garage. And that door, at the time we had two doors, so it was like a screen door on the other side and then a main door on the inside of the house. When we first walked in, Nothing was just out of the ordinary. Nothing was thrown out all over the place. It wasn't a mess. So at first, no red flags were up. We didn't, again, we didn't notice anything. So we're putting our stuff in the house. We walked into the kitchen and I look into the utility room because I noticed both of those were open. And I said, did you not shut the garage door when we left? 
and meaning the the doors on the inside not the actual garage door he's like yeah and he looks and he goes i i know i closed them he said holy shit i think somebody broke into the house so he went to the bedroom and he goes to get one of our guns we had two at the time it wasn't in there my handgun wasn't in my drawer both were stolen by the way yeah so both guns were stolen we had a laptop at the time which was gone we had a canon camera which was gone what else did they take they took my kindle they took my beats pill and i was really sad about that beats pill i know they're just objects but i saved up forever to get a fucking beats pill <laughs> and i finally got one like in 2015 or some shit and they they stole it i don't know they just stole some some random shit mostly electronics those guns the doors leading into the garage were busted the one screen door wasn't it was already unlocked but the other door um the doorknob had been beaten off which on my part was fucking stupid like literally it had windows all i had to do was bust the window unlock the fucking lock on the door like the doorknob lock and go in like i'm sure this dumb fucker that's why i also think it's this person because he's not very smart or just in general whoever it was if it wasn't them which it's hard to believe but it's possible i know it's possible just they were not smart <laughs> they were a fucking idiot so after my husband had like confirmed we've been robbed the guns aren't here he's looking around for other shit that's missing we don't want to go straight into the garage right away because we don't know if they're in there we let the dogs out oh no that was another thing so the dogs were in their pens and that just that really scared me too because i was like you know what if they did something to the dogs and the dogs were thank god they're fine but you just never know people can be so damn cruel i'm glad over everything that they were fine like fuck the electronics like you can get more you know it's just objects but your dogs animals life in general is not replaceable family's life is not replaceable so i'm glad all that came out of it was just some stolen objects for eyebrows i used the elf ultra precise brow pencil in the shade neutral brown for brow gel i'm using the full out brow gel tinting volumizing brow gel in by complex couture the cops show up about 15 minutes later and they're looking around seeing what damage is done they had to take notes of what was stolen towards the end of it they're looking around the house to see where these people broke in because no windows were busted um other than the inside of the garage door leading into the house that was the only thing busted so we were just like how the hell did they get in we couldn't at the moment while the cops were there we we honestly did not find an opening uh, again the windows weren't smashed the cops wrapped it up they left about 30 minutes later yeah that, that was all that came of that they said they were gonna investigate nothing ever came out of it after they left right we are just kind of because again nothing was destroyed other than that door we also lost some money um my stupid ass decided to buy a small safe and start putting cash in it and my husband was like you need to hide that because if somebody robs a house they're literally they're, that's the first thing they're gonna go for and my dumb ass was like mm -hmm, whatever and yes they did they took it it was like six seven hundred dollars they took that shit we're just again going around making sure nothing else was taken um that we missed uh we went back in the garage to just i don't know just look around again because we were just like they had to have gotten in somehow you know they didn't just pop in and pop out like out of thin air we're in the garage but like standing in front of it of the garage door and he looks up and he's like that's how they got in and what had happened was the dumbasses like shoved up the garage door it's automatic by the way you don't just lift it it has like you hit a button and it it goes up there's a piece up above it was a wooden piece that piece was snapped in half so again it was forced open we ended up figuring out that we got robbed around like 1 2 p.m because my neighbor next door and this is another thing it just i don't know irritates me i guess it is what it is like shit again happens but it just like just goes to show like sometimes your neighbors are just like they just don't give a shit that night that i went over to my neighbors and asked and i asked them how did you see anything today like was anything out of the ordinary we left to go to the lake we got robbed during that time and she was like no we didn't see anything but around like between 1 30 and 2 p.m we heard some banging coming from your house and that was around the time that the fucker showed up and was beating the damn handle off the door to get in she said that they heard banging but 
they didn't think much of it they just thought we were going in and out of the house or getting groceries out of the car i don't know something like that just closing and opening the car door slamming the doors like things like that and i was like okay and they didn't bother to look they didn't bother to be like damn that's a lot of banging over there like what the fuck are they doing you know they didn't even just i don't know i'm nosy so if i heard a lot of banging over there i would pop my head out just to see if like you know what the hell are you doing that's annoying you know i worked at the time with two people i worked at walmart by the way i don't know if you knew that but i worked at walmart and i quit last year in october 2020. two of the people i worked with lived down this road at the time and i asked both of them at work the next day did you guys see anything because they got off early they got off at like 2 p.m i'd asked them if they saw anything and one said no my older neighbor said no but my younger neighbor said that he was coming home it was like 2 10 and he saw that our garage door was wide open so he didn't see anybody but he saw the garage door open i was like damn and again that confirmed around the time that it was happening so for the berries by juvia's i'm going with this shade right here these are beautiful shades by the way they're super pigmented and they're blending out so well moral of it nothing came out of the investigation nobody was caught it just sucks that we feel like we have to accuse this person because it, it just makes it doesn't make sense that it could have been anyone else you know i don't know and the person just never denied it either after we found out we got robbed we got home um the cop showed up in that time his friend was trying to call him like three or four times i think and my husband didn't answer instead af at the end of it all um when the cops left and my husband was like i really think it was this person so he called um his friend's mom and his mom was shocked she's like oh my god i'm so sorry that happened to you she was like i just i really don't think my son did it she said no he wasn't home today he he was out and about doing whatever but i just don't think he'd do that to you and my husband said well just it's a coincidence you know the way things played out he's like i really hate to accuse your son but we can't think of anybody else that would have done this and it's just too much of a coincidence plus our house is not that nice to be honest it's compared to like some of the houses around here it is not that nice it sucks but at the same time like he also never denied it like he knew why my husband wasn't talking to him his mom told him i don't know and if it had just been me like like say the the tables were reversed and somebody was accusing me of breaking into their house i would be upset but i'd also be like no like i i would defend myself you know what i mean like when you try to clear your name when you you know try to defend yourself but he didn't and again that's why we also think like he did it so that was our robin story <laughs> 20 minutes later since then we've just been way more careful about what we post online uh, every time we go on vacation we don't post we're going on vacation or share anything from vacation until we get back you just again you can't be too careful the moral of that story though was just be careful what you share with others be careful what you post this is just my tangent this is just how i feel um everyone is entitled to their own opinion i get that a lot of it has to do with getting robbed and i feel like if we hadn't got robbed i i'd probably still be oversharing some shit and it wasn't even like that i was a big overshare before but i would post that we're we're at the bar right now we're we're on vacation like while we were on vacation you know what i mean like i'd literally post that we're not at the house anymore and i don't know like i'm not trying to shit on people for what they decide to share you know there's nothing wrong with being proud of the things that you're able to own and afford and and accomplish and buy and whatever the hell you want to put out there but there just also comes a point in time in my opinion to where it's just some of it's just not necessary to share and it's scary you know with social media and having access to you know you literally have the world at your hands how you choose to use it is you know up to you but what you choose to share is also up to you and i'm just saying if you watch this video this long ass video i mean going on tangents hopefully you'll take from it to just be more aware and careful with what you decide to put online 
because again you never know who's watching just be careful you know you can't be too careful so that tangent is done moving on i always take my eyeshadow up way too high sometimes i don't know how the hell i do it but it'll start lower and then we'll make it up to the brow bone and i just i don't know i don't get it so i think i'm going to use this pink from the sweet pinks by juvia's that's pretty that's very pretty i always feel like finger application works so much better look at how beautiful i'm also going by the window lighting i'm not using my ring light or anything i really like that i think i'm gonna go over the top of that with this brighter pink shade i'm just gonna like go right in the middle oh my gosh i love that very pretty okay and then also i'm gonna take it i think i'm gonna take that same bright pink shade i'm gonna pop that on the inner corner this is so pigmented so for highlighter and brow bone i'm gonna be using the artist couture summer haze diamond glow powder there's so much i want to say right now but i really can't i just feel like it's too soon So, I just went and contoured my nose with that same e.l.f. bronzer palette. It's in Bronze Beauty. I forgot to mention that earlier. I thought I was sick this morning. I woke up with a sore throat. <sighs> Scared me. And then, like, so last night I would take these deep breaths. And you know how whenever you're outside in the cold, or you're just cold in general, but probably more outside in the cold, and you're breathing hard, and it just kind of hurts. I don't know how else to describe it. It just, it's not a very nice feeling. It just kind of burns and hurts. Sometimes it can sting. When you're trying to take deep breaths or you're out of breath outside and you're trying to catch your breath. That's how it felt last night. And it was kind of feeling like that this morning. Only whenever I would take deep breaths. And um, yeah. I don't know, it was kind of scary. Because I didn't know why I was feeling like that. I'm alright now. But this morning I woke up with a sore throat. And it just it scared me. So I think I'm going to go in over the like top lash line. I don't want to do like a dramatic wing. Because um, the eye looks already dramatic. But I'm just going to run some eyeliner over the lid. The lash line. Whatever you want to call it. Another thing. I guess I'll just tangent some more. Another thing that bothers me <laughs> about social media online is like. I will see people share stuff. It'd be nice to hang out with people. It'd be nice to have friends that care. You know, wouldn't know what that's like because I have no friends. I see people post about not having friends or like, I don't know, just stupid shit. Just sharing like pity me posts about not having friends. It's the gist of it. And also, the same people that I see post that are the same people who I see get tagged on things like, oh my God, we haven't seen each other in forever, let's hang out. Oh my God, you're my best friend. Thanks for doing X, Y, Z. Thanks for watching my kids. Thanks for, I don't know. They're the same people that I see are tagged and shit that has something to do with friends. But then they're gonna turn around and post like, I have no friends, this life is lonely, like X, Y, Z. And I'm just like, how does that feel to the people who are asking to hang out with you and maybe they do behind the scenes. I don't know. But for you to turn around and be like, I have no friends. I have no one to hang out with. Life is lonely. I don't know. Like, that shit blows my mind. Do you, see, do you get what I'm saying? Does anybody else notice that? And it just... I just know, like, if I had a friend and we hung out and we texted. We have texts every day, but, like, we texted quite a bit. We caught up. We got lunch together. And then for them to turn around and be like, I have no friends. My life is lonely. I have nobody to talk to you. I would feel insulted you know what i mean like or if i was like publicly on social media saying oh my god look at this memory i miss you girl let's hang out um haven't seen you in a while like putting initiative and trying to hang out with somebody and they turn around and post shit like have no friends i'd feel really offended i would feel like damn this person doesn't want to hang out with me this person doesn't think i'm a friend i must be a piece of shit to them it's whatever it's not my business but at the same time just like damn 
like from an outsider's perspective even though i don't know the whole story maybe they are hanging out but like whenever i see stuff like that and then again this person shares stuff about being lonely when i've literally seen people like ask to hang out i'm just like damn <sighs> that's sorry to me like even on instagram i'll see things like things like where people talk about how being a mother is hard and i'm sure it is like damn you're raising kids multiple kids it comes with its challenges and like it's very rewarding but at the same time it just it, it looks like it could be very overwhelming but i'll see things also like talking about how parenthood is lonely and you know that i feel bad for the people that do share that because i'm sure it is but whenever i also see them posting just basically saying um everyone's worried about the baby until the baby's born and afterwards nobody cares about the baby and nobody is asking how the mom's doing and i do think that's kind of sad but at the same time i'm also like you know what you put out into the world do you get back so like you want these people to check up on you you want to feel like you're you're seen and appreciated and you know just just know that people care about you but like do you do that for other people or are you just fully expecting because i've known people who in my opinion are expectors and takers like i noticed this with somebody where i'm always the one doing the talking and asking them about their life and giving them compliments and stuff but they never engage more in the conversation than they have to they don't ask about me they don't act like they're interested in knowing anything about me they just take the compliments and they take the the conversation which surrounds them but they don't put back anything they don't give back anything if that makes sense i just don't like that maybe it's not literal maybe it's just like they're sharing it like you know just bringing awareness like maybe it's not so much having to do with them it's just like you know parenthood is hard you know just check up on you know the the new mothers and mothers to be and stuff like that even with anything in general like hell everybody at some point needs to be checked up on and just see how they're doing and i'm sure it is hard for like new mothers and new parents and stuff you know to like go through it and feel alone especially with this damn pandemic you know my point is things that you're sharing online when it comes to like i'm lonely i need friends or you know parenthood is hard you know what you want done to you are you doing to others you know are you putting forth friendship efforts and you know checking up on people or new parents or anything that you know you would want done to you sometimes i feel like what you put out is what you get back so if you're just expecting and taking not giving after some point like people are just gonna stop does that make sense like what you want in return you have to get back in my opinion with a person who i feel like is like they just take i don't like the fact that i feel like i'm giving you this attention and you know complimenting you and just asking about like what's been going on and just shit like that i don't i don't like that i'm giving that and then the people in return just aren't acting interested in me and what's been going on with me they just want to talk about themselves or they'll answer the questions and take the compliments but they don't want to give anything back i don't expect people to be like oh my god you know enough about me like what have you been doing oh my god you look so pretty like i don't expect that that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying i do notice things and i notice that the same people that i feel like i'm willing to see what's happening in their life whatever the hell i give them I just don't ever see it in return at least not with me maybe they do it behind the scenes with somebody else that they actually care about so i'm going in with the lash smack lash snack lengthening mascara mascara god i can't talk the gist of this video was like talking shit about social media and my unpopular opinions i don't think these lashes are like dramatic enough but we're gonna go in with them anyway Okay, so these are the Hocus Pocus Boss Witch Faux Lashes. I was lucky to even get a hold of any of those. Because I wanted the collection when it launched. But I never got it. Like, I never got to get my hands on much of it. Especially when it launched. I ended up going to Ulta with my sister-in-law back at the end of December. We went to Ulta and I got those lashes. I got like two two glitter products. From the launch and that was it next we're gonna go in with the steve laurent lip liner in vogue so hopefully you made it this far i'm sorry for the long tangent 
Sometimes it's like good to get shit off your chest or like just vent and share an unpopular opinion that nobody cares about. So then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with Shannon Rose's liquid lipstick in the shade Cake. I'm gonna go back in with the Artist Couture highlighter and we're going to throw some on our inner corner on top of that pink and our brow bone and we're also going to take some on the tip of our nose and down the bridge so that is the makeup portion I guess I could do something with my hair. This is going to be such a long video, you guys. I'm so sorry. I guess I can make it a two-part. Yeah, we'll make it a two-part. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means the world to me. I'm sorry-ish for the long tangents and the almost going nowhere story times. Like, they had a purpose, but I couldn't really get to the purpose right away because I just suck at telling stories. I go on tangents and then I get sidetracked or my tangents are just like long and they just sometimes just need to stay in my head, you know? Um, but thanks for listening. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Again, all my products are linked down below if you want to check them out. These palettes are pretty. They're super pigmented. I absolutely love the way this look turned out. Well, I believe they were 14 each, which isn't that bad, especially for how big the shadows are, how pigmented, how beautiful. I don't know what drawn me to the pink ones, but those are the ones I wanted to get first. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And follow me on my social media at KatePrincess24 on Instagram and Twitter. I will see you guys soon. Take care, be safe, and...